Herzlich willkommen bei Dopag. Welcome to Dopag. In this video, we will show you how to handle the initial commissioning and how to change the drum for a 30 liter lubricant drum pump. As an alternative, the pump is also available for an 80 liter container size. The demo pump shown here features single-handed operation and a circulation unit, which prevents separation of the material during downtime. The video will show you exactly how all of this works. Erfahren Sie im Verlauf des Videos. Wir starten mit der Inbetriebnahme. Let's get started with the commissioning. First, we loosen the drum centerings and push them outwards to make space for the container. Before supplying the system with compressed air, it's important to close the regulators for the lifter and pump pressure. Set the lifter, selector switch to the center position, and close the manual slide valve. We now connect the compressed air via the air maintenance unit and set the lifter pressure using the regulator. We recommend a maximum of two bar here in order to prevent any sudden movements. Once the lifter is pressurized, it can be retracted or extended using the selector switch. The speed can also be regulated using a throttle. Next, we will adjust the level sensor for the empty signal. The sensor ensures that the pump stops once the container has been emptied, while an alarm sounds to alert the user that the container needs to be changed. To adjust the sensor, we first move the follower plate to the lowest position. The height of the container base is simulated by a spacer under the follower plate, and the sensor is then approached from below. Once we have found the correct height, we can tighten the sensor. The alarm volume can be regulated using a throttle if required. Next, we move the follower plate into the container. To do this, the lifter must first be extended out fully. Now, we can place the container in the center. It is recommended to lubricate the dry follower plate with a small amount of material from the container or with some Vaseline. We then open the daring ball valve. We use the selector switch to position the follower plate about one simmeters in front of the container edge and align the container to the center. We then fix it in place via drum centerings. Next, we place the collection container beneath the daring ball valve. We can then use the selector switch to bring the follower plate slowly down onto the surface of the material. The air material mix is channeled out through the daring ball valve by the contact pressure. Once there are no more air pockets in the material, we close the daring ball valve. The follower plate has been fully dared, so now we turn to the feed pump. For this, we turn the drive on using the manual slide valve and then open the daring valve. The daring begins as soon as the drive pressure is turned up. Once there are no more air pockets in the material, we switch the air drive off again using the manual slide valve. Finally, we still need to de-air the pipes in the system. First, we turn the drive back on using the manual slide valve. Material can then be metered out via the application valve at the end of the metering line until there is a uniform flow of material and no bubbles can be seen. If a circulation unit is used, as is the case in this example, this also needs to be dared. The circulation unit essentially allows us to feed the material back underneath the follower plate via a closed circuit during longer downtime so as to counteract material separation or bleeding in the case of pressure-sensitive lubricants. The flow rate can be infinitely adjusted by means of a discharge throttle on the drive. The circulation mode is activated very easily via a manual or electrical switch. The material is fed from the pump via a static mixer, which ensures that the material is homogenized. After the mixer, the material is fed back into the container through a lance via a switch valve. The lance is always positioned at the bottom of the container and ensures that the entire volume is circulated. Once the circulation mode is deactivated again, the switch valve returns to normal operation and the material is transported to the metering valve. But now, let's get back to the daring. 
First, we loosen the daring screw, close the throttle, and pull the lance up as far as we can. It is then recommended to clean the daring screw with a cloth. We then switch on the drive via the manual slide valve, and the circulation mode is activated. We can slowly raise the circulation speed, opening the throttle. The lance is dared until no bubbles are visible in the material. After the daring, we turn the drive off again via the manual slide valve. Finally, the daring screw is tightened and the lance is loosened, fully inserted into the container and secured using the locking nut so that it does not move upwards during operation. The pump is now ready to use. In the second part of the video, we will explain the process of changing the drum. If the container is empty, the level control switches off the feed pump and the alarm sounds. This means that the container needs to be changed. First, we turn off the pump using the manual slide valve. To avoid damaging the lance in the circulation unit, it should be fixed in the fully extended position. We can then open the throttle of the follower plate airing. This supports the follower plate moving out of the container. As soon as the follower plate is level with the edge of the container, the lifter must be stopped again using the selector switch. To get completely out of the container, we open the follower plate daring via the ball valve and close the throttle for airing. We can then extend the pump lifter using the selector switch until it is in the highest position. To change the container, we first loosen the drum centerings and remove the empty container. It is recommended to remove any material residues from the follower plate using a cleaning cloth. The sealing lip can be lubricated with some material or Vaseline to ensure that it fits properly into the new container. We then place the new container in the center beneath the follower plate and fix it in place by tightening the centerings. Now, we move the follower plate into the new container. We need to make sure that the follower plate daring is open and the collection container is in place. The air material mix is channeled out through the daring ball valve by the contact pressure. Once there are no more air pockets in the material, we close the daring ball valve. There is no need to dare the pump and the system pipes as they are already filled with material. The final step is to lower the lance in the circulation unit back to the base of the container so that it is ready for use again. I hope you're now all set to get your drum pump up and running. If you have any questions about the product and how to use it, the Dopag team would be happy to help you. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.